Hi, and welcome to this new edition of Learning by Mind Maps. Today, we will give an overview about the five forces that shape strategy. Michael Porter has identified five forces that are widely used to assess the structure of any industry. Porter's five forces are the bargaining power of buyers, the threat of new entrants, the rivalry among competitors, the threat of substitutes, and the bargaining power of suppliers. And now let's look at each force and look at what are the sources that will help to increase that force and what can the business do to reduce the impact of that force. So let's start with the buyer's power. So the sources that, that can increase the buyer's power are if the buyers are few, large, and if the buyers know about the, the, uh, the seller's market and the demand and they're already aware about the costs. So ha they will have uh, a big uh, power during bargaining. Also, if the buyers can manufacture your products. If you're selling expensive products, again, this is something that will give your buyers some power. And if your product is not unique, so the buyers don't see a relative advantage in buying your product. So what can the business do to reduce the power of buyers? You need to increase your buyer's loyalty by meeting their needs and their demands. Look for partnership with them. Increase the value of your products and the features and the advantages and the benefits of your product. And work on your branding. If we look at the force, the second one, which is the threat of new entrants. So what are the sources that might increase that force? If there is a lack of regulations and patents, if the customer loyalty is, is not going up, if the startup costs are small, so those enters don't see a problem in entering this market, again, if your products are not unique, and if the switching cost of your already existing customers is not high, so they might look into those entrants. And if those um, <clears throat> new entrants have, uh, if the production process is easy and if they can have access to the inputs, like the raw material, etc., and they can have also an easy access to your customers. And if the economies of scale are low, so they don't have to produce large amounts of goods to uh, compensate for uh, their costs. So what can the business do to reduce that? You need, again, work on to enhance your branding, your marketing, use patents, and use a, um, a good pricing strategy that might help to be a barrier to those new entrants, and demonstrate ability to your customers so they see that switching from you to those entrants would not be a good decision. The third force, competition rivalry. So what are the sources that will increase the, this power? If the number of competitors is small or large, if the market is shrinking, this will lead to increase in competition, which might lead to a price war or what we call the zero-sum competition. If the production costs are high, so all competitors want to sell as much as they can. If the, if the competitors are selling perishable products, so they want to sell them as quick as they can, so they don't perish. And again, if their products are not distinguished, they're not unique, so they're fighting against each other to sell their products. 
and if the switching costs are low. If the business costs are high, so the competitors are trying to sell as much as they can to compensate for those high business costs. So what can help to reduce the, uh, com com the rivalry among competitors is to, to have a good pricing strategy, is to distinguish your products and focus on your points of difference, on your advantages. And maybe a good idea would be to focus on a unique segment to avoid getting into this war zone uh, of comp competition. And work on building customer loyalty. The fourth one, which is the threat of substitutes, what might increase their power is if the switching costs is low, if the, your product is not unique, so that the, your customers might switch to substitutes, if the customer loyalty is decreasing. So what you need to do to reduce the threat of those substitutes Enhance your branding, your marketing, identify the customer needs and work efficiently to meet those needs. And the last one is the uh, bargaining power of suppliers. So the sources are, if your suppliers are few suppliers and the large ones, if your suppliers provide a unique input that you can't get, get away of, so you need that input, like if you're selling, for example, some kind of food and your suppliers are giving you, supplying you with some kind of en enzyme that's very spe special, so you need those suppliers. And if your suppliers are independent of your business, so they're quite big and your size to them is not that big, they can live without you. So imagine you are a supplier to Walmart. So definitely Walmart will have a high bargaining power over you. And if your suppliers can sell directly to your customers. If the switching costs are high, so your suppliers know that you cannot switch and go to another other suppliers. And if you, as a business, you don't understand the market of suppliers. So when you sit and negotiate with them, you will not be able to understand and negotiate properly. So what can you do to reduce the power of the bargaining power of suppliers? Partnership with them. Worked with them on just-in-time delivery. So you don't have to, uh, this high cost of inventory and adopt new technology again this will help identify your customer needs and meet those needs and that's it so thanks for listening and i'll see you in the next session